This is the Inikim Ox Super 2023 electric scooter. And at first glance, you might think this looks very similar to the Inikim Oxo we reviewed earlier on. And I, you wouldn't actually be wrong because outside of a few different features and this being a single motor rather than dual motor scooter, there aren't a lot of differences, but we do see this as being a standalone auction. There's a very good set of reasons as to why you choose one of these. So let's talk about what makes the Inikim Ox a great electric scooter. So we'll start today by talking about the overall design of the Ox. Now, one thing that's unique to Inacom is that they actually don't share factories or parts with any other brand. So a lot of manufacturers around the world, the different products, but they come from the same factories. That's not the case with Inacom. All these designs are unique to the brand. And what you're getting is a very, very well-made aircraft grade aluminum frame. You're getting these fantastic highlight colors here. These have been updated for the 2023 range. You've now got sky blue, mint green, and new orange as well. And when you combine all these together, you begin to understand why the Ox was actually a red dot design winner earlier in the year. Now, one of the things the original Ox from last year was criticized for was this lack of any rubber on the deck. But fortunately, in this new version, we have this rubber strip in the middle, and it's a sturdy, lumpy bit of rubber here designed to improve grip. And it works really, really well, particularly at speed. So let's talk about suspension. Just like the OXO, the OX comes with patent pending OSAP technology. Now what that stands for is OX Suspension Adapter Pattern. In short, what that lets you do is it lets you adjust the angle of this suspension arm here. You increase it or decrease it depending on the surface that you'll be riding on. So if you're gonna be riding on flat, smooth roads or other surfaces similar, you can actually decrease the angle of that suspension arm and have a lower center of gravity giving you better stability on those surfaces. However, if you're gonna be going over rough or uneven terrain, you can increase the angle of that suspension, which increases the deck height and gives you more stability on control on rough surfaces. So in terms of performance, the Inacom Ox can go 50 kilometers an hour on top speed. Now, if that's too fast for you, or you don't necessarily want to be able to reach that speed all the time, then you can actually adjust that by cycling through the three riding modes on the dashboard. That'll give you anywhere from a top speed of 15 up to the 50 kilometer an hour maximum. In terms of battery, we're powered by a 57.6 volt battery, very similar to the one we found in the OXO. Now in the OXO, it was upgraded to improve acceleration, torque and power delivery, and it's no different here. You are getting a far more smooth and controlled acceleration, which is really, really valuable for a scooter such as this one here. Now the combination of the rear 1000 watt motor, the 57 volt battery, and the improved controller to manage that power means that you can actually get up to 97 kilometers of range from a single chart. That's fantastic. So while the OXO doesn't have an official hill climb rating, the combination of the 1000 watt motor which has 1300 watt peak output and the more powerful battery meant that we were able to get this up 10 degree incline with a plus 100 kilo rider at the slowest speed of seven kilometers an hour and that was on the lowest riding mode. So in terms of hill climb it is above 10 degrees and very very effective. Now, one of the things the previous Ox was criticized for was having an 11 hour charging time. But fortunately, in the camera of Listen, they've drastically improved it in the Ox Super. Instead of 11 hours, you now have a total charging time of nine hours, but it gets a lot better than that because this special charging system can get you from 0% to 70% in just two hours. And then the final 30% over the next seven. But if you need to get going straight away, only have to wait a couple of hours and you'll be able to take this out again. So we also have an improved folding mechanism as well. It's not so much this lever that's important, but this little dial that's on the front here. See, this dial allows you to loosen and tighten the folding mechanism, and doing so will effectively eliminate stem wobbling. So once you've tightened that, outside of a couple of checks to make sure it stays tight, you should never need to adjust it. In terms of stopping power, you've got a rear mechanical disc brake on the back and a drum brake on the front here. In terms of tires and grip, these tires aren't puncture proof or self healing, which is a little bit disappointing, but Inicum have still taken the rider into consideration because these are much easier to remove and repair at home than any other scooter brand, making maintenance costs on these a lot lower.
On the subject of safety features, this is a little thing, but this is one of my favorites about the Intercom range and just shows you how much they put into research and development. But we've actually got automatic headlights. You know, this is a technology that we've only recently started seeing coming onto cars and we're now seeing it in a Intercom range as well. But these turn on automatically when they detect they're under cover or in dark conditions, so you don't have to worry about whether you can be seen or not. So who is the Inicum Aux Super 4? Well, that's an interesting question because the answer is it varies. It's got the capabilities to be a very smooth, easy-going commuter. The suspension, the comfortable tires, and the lower power modes mean that you can commute in it quite easily. But it's also got the ability to be much more than that with its 50 km an hour top speed and 1300 watt peak output from the motor. Realistically, the AUX is for anybody who loves to look at the OXO but doesn't either need the dual motors or doesn't want to pay for the dual motors. With the AUX, you're getting virtually all the same equipment, all the same performance, just with a slightly lower price tag. And that doesn't mean that it's a slouch. It doesn't mean that it's a bad scooter, not even close. This is a reliable, durable scooter. The years and years of Inakim research and development are clear in everything that this scooter needs to be. So if you do want one, you've made a great choice, jump to electrickicks.com.au and get yours today.